Hey guys, it's Di, and I was asked quite some time ago to do a video on my all-time beauty favorites, and I'm just now getting around to do it. Obviously, you already know what that is by the title, but I thought I would do actually a series of these, my all-time favorites for beauty, my all-time favorites for skincare and hair care, and my all-time favorites for accessories, which would be like shoes, jewelry, handbags, etc. So today I'm going to show you my all-time favorite beauty items, and it's actually quite hard to narrow it down. I really wanted to get those things that have either been staples in my makeup collection for quite some time, things that I always know I'm going to replenish, or things that I have found that I just really truly love and would absolutely recommend to like my best friends and that sort of thing. So these are the items that I consider my beauty all-time favorites of all time and I would definitely continue purchasing them if nothing changes. So first up, I'm going to show you my all-time favorite primer, and this is the primer that I usually put on before I put my foundation on. This is the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer. I love the consistency of it. It's just like a clear consistency, and it's not too heavy on your skin. It's just very nice and light. So I really love this one, and this is actually replaced. I used to use the Bare Essentials Primetime Primer. They changed the formulation on it. It feels very oily and greasy now. So this Clean Slate Poreless Primer by Tarte is my absolute favorite favorite face primer. I probably use this about three to four times a week. And then next up, my favorite concealers. I really love this Bobbi Brown concealer. This is something I actually found fairly recent ago, uh, probably about like six months or so I've been using this. And this is the Bobbi Brown Light Bisque Corrector Concealer. I actually use this underneath my eyes, and I think that this works really well for the area. It doesn't cake up. It just gives you nice coverage, and it helps kind of, if there's any darkness underneath there, just really blend that away. So I'm loving that one. This is definitely something I will continue purchasing. And my favorite under eye area concealer and then for all over concealing, I usually conceal a little bit maybe around my nose, maybe sometimes on my chin if I have issues down there. The Tarte Stick Concealer. Now it seems like people either love this one or hate it, and I really love this one. I prefer this to the uh, more of cream concealer that they have. This is the Amazonian Clay Waterproof Concealer, and it's the stick version. I'm fair in this, and I just think it's a really great match for my skin tone. It's nice and light, and it blends very, very easily. Just gives me a little bit of coverage where I want it, it's not too much coverage, so I really love those. Then for foundation, I have another Tarte product, and this is really a toss-up between these two. These are my all-time favorite foundations. It really depends on what look I'm going for. The Tarte foundation is more of like a mousse foundation. It's very, very thick and has full coverage. So like nights if you were going out and that sort of thing, it's a great full coverage foundation that will stay on. It stays on all day long, which is what I really love about it, and it would definitely be great for evenings out where you don't want to do a lot of touch-ups and that sort of thing. It says it's a 12-hour full coverage foundation, and I would honestly say it probably definitely 100% lasts for 12 hours. It's that great. So you can see I'm getting ready to run out of this. I will definitely be replenishing it, and I'm fair in this as well. And then my other kind of like medium foundation, it's not a high, um, it's not a full coverage foundation. It's more of just a light where your skin still can show through, but it gives you nice coverage. This is the HD foundation by Makeup Forever in 110. And this is a, also another great color match for me. Sometimes I've had to roll out foundations just based on I didn't have a good color match in them. And I didn't really want to get into like the mixing the different colors of it and that sort of thing. Um, 110 just straight out of the bottle was a great match for me and it's just a nice light foundation. The pump applicator is nice because it's easy to just use as much or as little as you want and it goes on very nicely. It's nice and smooth and it's just kind of a silky consistency so it feels like you're not really wearing anything on your face which is nice. So these are my all-time favorite foundations that I found within the past few years that I really really love. And for setting powder, I used to be a Bare Essentials girl, so I usually always keep a jar of the Mineral Veil setting powder around, because I do sometimes like to use that, especially in the summer. It's a nice, light setting powder. But my all-time favorite is probably this Tarte powder, and my color in this is Fair. It's just a really great kind of silky powder, and I love that it's just a little bit matte, and it just feels like you're not really wearing anything when it's on. So this has been one of my new favorites. I've probably been using this for about two years, maybe, and I 
I really love it. They just changed the packaging. It used to be like a quilted packaging, but now I like this because it reminds me of the uh, Bottega Veneta bags, however you would say that. And so I'm liking this new packaging. I like that woven packaging. Then for blush and face products, I used to be a NARS only girl. I had the Sin, the Orgasm, the Torrid, kind of the most popular colors, but two of my most popular NARS blushes are actually ones that are more off the beaten path or off the radar type of thing. For a lighter pink, I really love Matahari. It's just a great kind of pinky color and I feel like it just gives me a nice pop of color in my skin without being too light. It still has a little bit of deepness to it, so that's my favorite pink color from NARS and one of my all-time favorite blushes and then in the winter this is my all-time favorite blush from NARS this is called Dossier and it's a just nice tan color and I really feel like it just kind of brings some life to my cheeks but still just has a nice kind of wintry effect and I wear this a lot in the fall and the winter so you can see that that's just a great neutral color. And hands down, probably my all-time number one blush out of all of them is this Dior blush in Strawberry Sorbet. The number is 943. This is a great kind of neutrally pink color as well. And this I wear all season, all year round. I love this with pretty much every single outfit. This is just a great kind of neutral pink color for me. And I will definitely continue to purchase this. So you can see it's just a little bit more of like a coral pink or tannish pink than the NARS blush at the top and this one is definitely probably my number one out of all of my all-time favorites but um, these are probably my most used blushes out of all of the blushes that I have in my collection and then for face products my most used kind of bronzer or highlighter is by Too Faced I actually use this for a little bit of contouring in my cheek area on my chin area and up here at the temples I have gone through so many of these I don't even know what number this is I am probably on number three or four and you can see I've already hit the pan on this one it's just a great kind of um, color that's really versatile. You could probably use it for a lot of different things, but I like using this for my contouring. It's got a little bit of shimmer to it, but it's not overly shimmery, and I find that it works really, really well on my skin tone. So I love this as kind of a multi-purpose. They call, it, they call it a brightening bronzer, so I use it in those areas where I'm just wanting to kind of deepen up the skin tone a little bit, and also it's fun to look at as well because it's got the pink leopard print on the interior. For makeup tools, I have pretty much exclusively gone to my little Beauty Blender sponge to apply my foundation. I apply all my foundations with this. I love these. I'm on my second one right now, and I'm planning on ordering some more, actually. And these just work great to apply everything flawlessly. I've never seen any other technique brushes or wedges, anything that I've done has really worked quite as well as these. So this is actually, you can see it's still a little bit moistened from what I just put on my makeup today and they work fabulous. So if you've been thinking about getting these, this may be like my all time like favorite beauty find ever just because I feel like it makes almost any foundation that you use really look flawless. It's the best way to apply most liquid foundations and I just really love it. And then also my most used brushes are either usually from Sonia Kashuk, Sephora, or Bare Essentials. I still, you know, held over from using Bare Essentials a lot. I still use a lot of their brushes. This is the Bare Minerals Full Flawless Face Brush, and I use this to apply my powder. It's just a nice, big, fluffy brush, and I use it with my other brands of powder as well. And then this is my kind of go-to, even though I have a lot of other blusher brushes, it's hard to say. This is my Sonia Kashuk blusher, blusher brush that I have had for a while. I think this may be like the second one that I'm on, but I... I don't know. I really love the Sonia Kashuk brushes. I think that they get overlooked sometimes because they're at Target and not that expensive, but I really like them and I also use some of her eyeshadow brushes as well. Then for eyeshadow, I really like playing around with eyeshadows. I like the Tarte eyeshadows. I've used some by Dior before, but I think that my all-time favorites, if I was told I could only live with two palettes, would be the Naked and Naked 2 palettes from Urban Decay. These palettes are really, honestly, if you took all my other eyeshadows away, I could exist with just these two palettes. And I do have some specific favorites down inside of them. If I had to pick one, I would probably pick the Naked palette, just 
because it's the original and some of my favorite colors are in here, but I do kind of combine the two palettes and use them together a lot. I use Sin the Absolute. I actually buy separate containers of Sin and use it as well. And then I also really like Toasted, Hustle, and I've been using the Naked and the Buck, the more matte ones a lot lately as well. So this is actually my second Naked palette. That's why it looks like so pristine. My first one was definitely very messy and uh, down at the pan on a lot of them, but this is a great, great palette and probably one of my my number one all-time favorite and then also if I you know could pick two palettes if I wasn't limited to just one the naked two is a great great palette I like blending colors between these two. sometimes I use booty calls my kind of all-over color I also really like tees in this one pistol if you're running a really nice shimmery gray color and then I also really like suspect you can see it's pretty far down in the pan it's just a very unique kind of taupey color so I combine the colors between these two and I think that they just are really Really flattering on and great for all kinds of different occasions daytime evening and professional non-professional and casual they really work for about everything I really like this Too Faced Shadow Insurance for my eyeshadow primer. I probably don't have a favorite. It's kind of weird on that one. I use the NARS eyeshadow primer. I use the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and the Too Faced one. I feel like they all really work about the same on me. I like the Too Faced one just because you can squeeze it out and you don't have to deal with the wand and all that. So that's what I'm using right now. I just tossed a bunch of my mascara. So, I don't have any of my higher line brands to show you because I'm planning on replenishing those this month. From drugstore brands, I really love this L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, and this is the waterproof version. I prefer mascaras that have like a fuller wand like this, so that's just my preference as far as mascaras go. And then for the more Sephora brand type of mascaras, I really love Clinique mascaras, and also Bad Gal Lash is one that I'm planning on repurchasing, as well as Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. This is a beauty secret that I read in a magazine sometime a long time ago when I was a teenager and I've continued to do it ever since. I have been complimented on my eyebrows by hairstylists before. Whether that means or anything, I don't know. Um, but the secret to how I fill my eyebrows in is I just use this cheap little pencil from Maybelline. It's Expert Wear Eyebrow Pencil in the color Dark Brown. I do prefer the color uh, Charcoal, but that was discontinued a number of years ago. I haven't been able to find it anywhere. So I've gone to using the Dark Brown color, but I have probably, this is probably the product in my makeup arsenal that I have used the longest. I used this since high school so over 10 years almost over 15 years i'm not going to sit here and calculate how long it's been since i've been out of high school but a long time we'll put it that way for favorite lip products it was very very hard to decide but i finally was able to narrow it down and i have four favorite lip products and they are all by dior and then also i have this sephora unique pink balm this is just the great little balm i really love the dior lip glow but this is twelve dollars at sephora i really love it just as well and i use this as kind of a lip primer before i put my lipsticks on and get ready to go for the day so this is probably my favorite primer but then all of my lipsticks and lip glosses that are my favorites are from Dior. I picked two lipsticks and two glosses and I probably have the most lip products out of everything that I have so that was the hardest to decide but these would be my ultimate favorites that if someone said you can only have five products these would be the five that I would pick. The first one is a lipstick Dior Attic lipstick in 368 in Pink Cherie and I just think that this is like the perfect pink lipstick. You can see it's just a really nice neutral pink and it looks really really great on. I love this. It's I I wear it year round and it's especially great in the spring and the summer. The other lipstick is a really great neutral. This is the Dior Attic Extreme Lipstick in 356 and this color is Cherie Bow. And this one I especially wear a lot in the fall and the winter. This one's a great kind of neutral tan pink and I love the way that this looks on my lips and it also is a little bit more long wearing than the regular formulation. So this is one that I reach for a lot in the kind of cooler months. And then I always layer over my lipstick some sort of gloss. And two of my favorite glosses by Dior actually 
almost the same color. I know they look very similar, but one is a little bit more of a tan color and the other one is more of a pink color. They're just very subtly different and hopefully it'll show up on camera, but they are just slightly different. The top one is 157. It's a great shimmery color that doesn't really add any color. It just gives you some shine. And then 257 has just a little bit of pink to it. So if I'm wanting to pink up one of my lipsticks, this is what I reach for. So these are my two all-time favorite lip glosses from Dior. I have a lot of favorites from Dior, to be quite honest. I have that lilac one that I carry around in my purse. Sorry, Pink is a great one for the spring and summer, and Evening Rose is a great one for going out. So there's a lot of great colors in these lip glosses, so it's definitely something to check out and one of my all-time favorites. And then last but not least, I thought I would show you my four all-time favorite nail polishes. And actually, they're not all Zoya. I have two Zoya polishes, and I actually have two OPI polishes. And for whatever reason, I tend to put Zoya on my fingernails and OPI on my toenails. I don't really have any rhyme or reason why that is, other than that's just my preference. And so that's what I've just started doing over the years. So my two favorite Zoyas, one is kind of a darker color, and the other one is a lighter color. You guys have probably heard me talk about these in the past, especially this one. They are great, great colors, and if I only had to pick one, I would pick Brazia just because it's a little bit more neutral, but I love both of these. Brazia is a really unique kind of grayish lilac color. It's very, very... Uh, kind of subtle the tone in it that's a little bit undertone of purple but it's shimmery it just goes with everything if I don't want to think about trying to match my nail polish with things, this is the color that I go with and then my other favorite this is actually what got me into Zoya in the first place I was trying to find a really nice purpley wine color to actually go with the Louis Vuitton Rouge Faviste color and this is almost a direct match for it this is Zoya Monohari and I love this color it's gorgeous and purpley and shimmery and just a really great kind of wine color. It's a true not too red, not too purple wine color. I love these two. They are absolute two of my favorite nail polishes of all time. And then these are two of my favorite OPI nail polishes and two of my most used nail polishes for pedicures and on my toenails. This one has probably been the nail polish that I've used the longest over my lifetime. This is Flashbulb Fuchsia and I've used this for a very, very long time. This used to be exclusively the only thing that I would ever get on my toenails when I go get pedicures. And I just think that it's a really fun color. I actually started getting it at home to have like a touch up polish when I would, um, you know, go get my pedicures. But this is a great kind of pinky purple color. It's just very, very fun. I found it in the spring, the summer, but I wear it all year round. Um, and I just really love this color. I believe this might be my second bottle of it actually, which is fairly rare because I, you know, normally don't go through nail polish that often. And then the next one is It's All Greek to Me. This is a fairly new one. I probably have gotten this occasionally for pedicures in the past maybe two years or so. It's just a great kind of pinky shimmer color. It's got a little bit of a gold tone shimmer to it. You can see that they're subtly different. Flashbulb Fuchsia is more of a pinky purple color, and It's All Greek to Me is more of a kind of true pink color. So those are two of my favorite colors to have on my toenails, which you guys will never see, but I really love both of these colors from OPI. So those those are all of my all-time favorite beauty products of all time. You know, I have different favorites from month to month that I may use more than one month to the next and new products that I find that are new favorites, but these are the things that I have used the absolute most. I love them. I have really honestly nothing to bad to say about anything in this video. Um, all these products have worked great for me and are absolutely my all-time favorites. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.